So today we are going to read a book, Beauty is Missing. Author and illustrator is Priya Korean and publisher is Pratham Books. The level of this book is level 3. This book has won an award for early readers in English language, Binod Kanoria Children's Book Awards. So let's begin reading the book. So here the first picture we see there's an old lady in the farm. She's cutting grass and there are mango and banana plantations in the field. The morning after the night beauty disappeared, peals of laughter were heard in Iramanur police station. In this picture, we are seeing a police station. It's a cottage and uh, the police station has terracotta brown tiles and there's a police van waiting outside the police station gate. It has a red color siren and it is the police station is surrounded by banana and mango plantation farms. Who ha 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 ha. Who names a buffalo beauty? Goofed Inspector Gopi. So Inspector Gopi is laughing in the police station when an old lady in a white sari and white flowing hair, probably she was in a hurry that she had to make a police complaint. She might have realized that her buffalo is missing and she hurried to the police station. But what does she find? that the inspector and the policeman are laughing at the picture of her buffalo and they're finding it amusing that she has named her buffalo as beauty. Only two people did not find the whole situation funny. Tessama, whose beloved buffalo beauty was missing, and Jinsi Jose, the new constable at Irumanur police station. So this is Jinsi Jose, the new police officer, new police constable and Tesamma. Both are not finding it funny about the name beauty for a buffalo. And you can see here Jinsi Jose is looking very angry. She is looking at the police. Why are they laughing? When someone has come to uh, give a complaint, you cannot laugh at them, right? You have to take the complaint seriously. You can see here there is a Xerox machine and she's got a red book in her hand. She immediately get, got down to work. She made a poster missing beauty. If you see this buffalo, call 100. So along with the other missing people or whatever notices, she has put this also notice. So tell me about beauty, Jensi said. Well, first things first, she is a beauty, said Tesama. So Tesama wanted to clarify her stand that though others may find it funny, she finds her buffalo beautiful. So she has named her beauty. And Jinsi Jose is sitting down on a low stool and taking down notes while Tesama is giving her statement about what happened. Hong Hong, beep. Honestly, she's a traffic stopper, says Tesama. So you can see here on the village road, there is a rickshaw, there is a bus and beauty is blocking the way. She's not allowing the traffic to go ahead. So she's a Traffic stopper, said Tesama. While she is being milked at dawn, she insists on listening to Western classical music on her radio. So Tesama says that beauty uh, insists on listening to Western classical music when she is being milked at dawn. Dawn means early morning when the sun is rising, just when the sun is rising. So and she listens on the radio. So who switches on the radio? Tesama. Okay. <laughs> so while she grazes, who grazes? Beauty is grazing in the meadows. 
there's a lot of grass there and there's a farm in the background and beauty the buffalo is grazing happily and while she grazes it's always music from bollywood so you can see here the red colored radio playing bollywood music so tasama says that beauty likes to listen to different kinds of music during her uh, activities at different times of the day in dawn at dawn time it is western classical music when she is grazing it's music from bollywood now when she wallows in the pond it's her beauty regime you see she prefers romantic malayalam songs so when uh, beauty is uh, lazing around in the muddy pond water which is her beauty regime she prefers to listen to malayalam songs at night she always sleeps to soft instrumental tunes so when it is night time and she is about to sleep so the sama uh, switches on the radio for beauty and she listens to soft instrumental music very soothing soft means not very uh, loud and the beat is not very fast it is slow music and very soft on the ear and relaxing so that beauty can go to sleep so as you can see it's dark here in the shed and soft peaceful moonlight is falling from the window on to beauty a while in the morning or afternoon whenever beauty goes to the pond to have her beauty regime of having a bath in the muddy water it must be hot and very sunny so the mud must be uh, coating her skin right mud must be there on her skin and for some reason tasama calls this her beauty regime let's see if we come to know later on what why exactly she says beauty regime for having a mud water bath uh, uh, for uh, beauty the buffalo what excellent taste in music thought jinsi so jinsi while she is taking down notes taking statement from tasama about beauty she says or thinks to herself that what excellent taste in music beauty has right very good taste in music now jinsi decided to go around the village and ask folks if they had seen beauty now who are folks folks are the village people so she wanted to uh, ask the village people Uh, whether they had seen beauty so she decided to go around the village and she went on a bicycle we can see in the image she ran into tomachan but he hadn't seen beauty so tomachan is raising one pointed finger and stating it very clearly that he hadn't seen beauty and what else is he stating so emphatically with his finger pointing making it very clear and in his hand other hand is behind his back and he has a rope in it uh, and probably he has tied something to the rope let's see on the next page sorry i don't know any buffalo called beauty and frankly i don't like buffaloes i only like my cow chandan kutti and she doesn't to wallow in the mud like those buffaloes so tomachan is telling jinsi joes that he doesn't like buffaloes and he hasn't seen any buffalo he in fact has a cow named chandana kutti and he's proud of the fact that she doesn't uh, lays around in a muddy pond and has a mud bath so that's why he doesn't like buffaloes and he is very proud of his cow chandana kutti so he says he hasn't seen so now we will go to the next page now here on the next page we can see 
that Jinsi Jose is talking to two ladies. She then met the sisters Remani and Savitri who were on their way back from the local pond. They hadn't seen beauty either. So these sisters hadn't seen beauty either. Jinsi asked them and they said, oh, oh, we don't, we haven't seen beauty. So you can see here, the two sisters have a white color towel on their head. Probably they had a hair bath. And you can see here, this girl has slippers in her feet and the other girl is barefoot. And she is laughing, chuckling with her hand on her mouth, hiding her laughter. And this lady has a bucket full of clothes and a soap dish. So probably she went there to wash her clothes. So uh, Remini and Savitri, who were from the way back from the local pond, hadn't seen beauty either. I have told Tessama a hundred times not to let beauty walk around without a nose, said Remini. So Remini had told Tessama not to let beauty lose without a noose around her neck. So Remini says, what's the harm in giving her a few wax with a stick? But no, beauty skin is too sensitive it seems. Hmm. Anyway, who would steal that useless buffalo? He he, giggled Savitri. If she were a pretty cow, I would steal her. So, that's what Savitri says. That if beauty was a pretty cow, I would steal her. But she's not a pretty cow. That's what Savitri means. So, who would steal a buffalo who is not pretty? And Remini says that uh, she is in favor of uh, Tessama hitting, uh, whacking. Whacking means hitting uh, the buffalo with a stick. But Tessama is very proud and possessive about her buffalo and she doesn't believe in hitting or whacking the buffalo with a stick. She says that the buffalo's skin is too sensitive and Remini thinks that buffalo is useless. So in the previous page whom we saw here, this is Remini who is talking to Jensi Jos and this is Savitri who is giggling and saying that beauty is not a pretty buffalo. If she were a pretty cow, she would have stolen, but beauty isn't. So there's no point in stealing and Ramani says beauty is a useless buffalo. But is she really useless? Tessama knows better, isn't it? So now we'll go to the next page. A little ahead, Jinsi ran into a man who seemed to be repairing his truck and making a big noise. There was loud music playing from his truck and the man is outside repairing his truck and Jinsi asked him, Excuse me, have you seen a beautiful black buffalo wandering around here? See, here is the truck man. He's repairing something. Some equipments are there. There's a tire. Okay. Why are you asking me? I'm new here. I'm just repairing my truck. My truck is full of jackfruit. Now there's music playing in the truck, but still the truck man is saying there is jackfruit. Why would anyone play music inside a truck full of jackfruit? Anyways, and those buffaloes are such social animals. Beauty the buffalo must be busy socializing with friends. Socializing means being around uh, with other buffaloes, being in the company of other buffaloes and talking to them in their own way, communicating in the buffalo way. Anyway, like I said, why would I know anything about a buffalo who listens to the radio? It might rain today. Do you think it will rain today? I think so. Jinsi went on ahead. So the truck man changed the topic. He said first, 
that buffalo uh, are social animals so the buffalo might be with other buffaloes and uh, why would he know about a buffalo who likes to listen to music and uh, then he changes the topic and says that it might rain today do you think so and then jinsi goes ahead because he says he hasn't seen the buffalo in the village now jinsi cycled all around tirumanur with very little luck the tirumanur village road is winding around the forest and uh, the local shops and houses and school and church you can see there's a mosque there are small huts here and their houses so jinsi goes around on her bicycle in the village and around asking people if they have seen beauty the buffalo so what answers did she get sorry haven't seen any buffaloes here maybe someone said maybe she just decided to run away somebody else said disappeared in the middle of the night she is probably being sold off at the meat market already somebody who is smart guessed this that if she is disappeared in the middle of the night she is probably being stolen and sold off at the meat market already she is being sold off then another person said beauty my daughter's name is also beauty so somebody who found their daughter very beautiful had also named their daughter as beauty another person said how will you find her when you can't make out one buffalo from another and that's also true isn't it all buffaloes look alike so how are you going to find her someone asked jinsi so now jinsi goes ahead to a local vendor shop that is and dulkar ikka the owner of the shop had not seen beauty either but he let jinsi stick a poster about beauty at his tea stall so dulkar ikka had a tea stall and he is mixing tea uh, in two glasses uh, one above the other like he takes one glass up in the air and pours the hot milk or uh, hot tea into the glass and there is a, a big uh, vessel here tea heating vessel and there are pav and biscuits and uh, some uh, way for and bislery water all these things are there at his shop tea stall and there are some bananas and there is a lady sitting there with a axe and a radio okay and jinsi is standing there and asking dulkarika and he says he hasn't seen beauty either so seems like Jinsi Jose had a cup of tea at Dulkarika's tea stall and Jinsi was tired going around the village so she sat there drinking hot tea and Dulkarika switched on the radio and it sort of adjusted to the frequency of the radio and made funny noises buzz squack pss brang now suddenly when Jinsi heard this sound she had a brain wave brain wave means an idea she ran back to beauty shed beauty of course was missing but so was something else now this is the photograph that um, she had got from the person who had complained what was her name the old lady in the white sari with white hair yes that old lady who had complained was tesamma so when tesamma gave this photograph a red radio was on the window but here in beauty shed there was no red radio it was missing along with beauty so that night jinsi ventured out to set some things right in the darkness of the truck something other than the fireflies was shining so you can see here some shining spots and these floating shining spots are the fireflies fireflies are insects which emit light in the dark which give out light which shine like 
small lights okay so there were plenty of fireflies there and among that fireflies inside the truck there were there was something look there were two set of eyes looking at jinsi as she climbed into the truck jinsi flashed the torch light to see what was inside the truck was there jackfruit as a truck driver had said to her no there wasn't jackfruit there was the truck driver inside and look who is there beauty inside the truck and the red radio oh my god jinsi had found beauty after all shaji kutappan beauty's kidnapper now this man truck driver he is shaji kutappan beauty's kidnapper was promptly marched off to the police station so jinsi called the other policemen and they took shaji kutappan away to the police station now tesamma is saying to jinsi how did you figure out jinsi asked tesamma jinsi says it's simple shaji said he hadn't seen a buffalo who listens to the radio i never told him about beauty listening to the radio shaji stole beauty so that he could sell her off in the next village at a butcher's what's a butcher butcher is a person who cuts animals chicken meat goat and even buffaloes but things hadn't really gone according to his plan so shaji kutappan's plan was to uh, steal Uh, the buffalo and kidnap her i mean and take it away to the next village and sell the buffalo to the butcher so that the butcher could cut her and sell the meat so evil isn't it but shaji kutappan was caught by jinsi and the buffalo was saved and tasama got her buffalo back shaji had tried hard to get beauty out of her shed but beauty refused to move so now after interrogating after asking shaji kutappan what exactly happened jinsi came to know the entire story so jinsi is jinsi is sharing the story with tasama and with us as well that shaji had tried to get beauty uh, out of her shed but beauty was stuck to the ground she used all her power to not move from the place so shaji thought he might as well take away the radio because buffalo was not coming so he thought i might as well take the radio so he took the radio and he started walking out but beauty couldn't imagine that her radio be taken away from her she so fond of listening to the music the entire day so she ran after shaji kutappan and shaji kutappan got scared and he started running away in the farm in the moonlight and look here he is running with the radio and beauty is ru- running galloping after shaji kutappan so she followed him into his hideout so shaji kutappan went inside the truck and beauty climbed into the truck as well for her radio she couldn't be separated from that radio so but the truck was under repair so shaji kutappan could not even drive away so he was just sitting there inside the truck with the buffalo and the radio tasama was thrilled to have her beloved beauty back jinsi jose is standing there and the police inspector and all the policemen from the station are looking at the beauty buffalo and gopi the inspector says i must say beauty is indeed a beauty <laughs> so now gopi the inspector says that beauty is indeed beautiful and all the policemen are looking at such a wonderful job jinsi jose has done in catching beauty they could have done it as well but they were busy laughing away at the name but jinsi jose quickly got to work and did what she had to do 
Now here is a fun fact about buffaloes. Beauty and other buffaloes. Buffaloes are highly intelligent animals who love socializing with others of their kind. Means buffaloes are intelligent and they like to mix with other buffaloes. Of their kind means other buffaloes. They are often found wallowing in mud and taking dust baths in order to protect their sensitive skin from sunburn and insects that bite. So now here we got the answer. Why do buffaloes lay around in the mud, in the muddy water of the pond? Why do they immerse themselves and coat themselves in the mud? And even in dry dust also, why do buffaloes coat themselves in dry dust? A dust bath. It is because the buffalo skin is sensitive and they protect their skin from sunburn. They are always outside and so the skin can get sunburn. That is why they coat themselves with mud. And they know it. Nobody has told them by themselves, by their instinct, by it's their nature. They do this. So that insects cannot bite them through there, through the mud and the dust. So they enjoy grazing grass and they like being outdoors. Research shows that buffaloes also like listening to slow music. So buffaloes like slow music. Some scientists might have done some research and found that buffaloes react, uh, respond to slow music. It removes washes away the stress, any tensions that the buffalo might be having and it soothes them, relaxes them and they feel nice listening to music. So did you like the story and do write in the comments below uh, how you found the story, who are the characters and where did the story take place, which was the village where the story took place and who all were the people in the story and what do you think about Tessama? How was Tessama? How was Beauty the Buffalo? What do you think about her uh, music which what she likes to uh, what kind of music she listens throughout the day and what do you think about Jinsi Joes? Did she do a good job of catching Beauty the Buffalo? How did she solve the mystery? You can Think over it and give your comments in the comment box. Okay, friends. Bye.